So, MediaTek just launched the successor of the MediaTek Dimensity 9300, the MediaTek Dimensity 9400. And friends, you know, this MediaTek Dimensity 9400 is an engineering marvel because of its amazing CPU architecture, GPU, RAM, storage, AI engines, camera capabilities, connectivity, and much more. And friends, I know, I'm a bit late with this review, but that's because I was waiting for the Oppo Find X8 Pro smartphone to launch with this chipset. And man, I am seriously shocked by this chipset performance in this smartphone. I mean, the Oppo Find X8 Pro is currently the world's fastest smartphone, beating the OnePlus 13 with the Snapdragon 8 Lite. And yeah, don't say anything yet because I will explain that in details in this review. So friends, if you are new here, then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss a review video like this one. <laughs> and you know, this chipset is currently the second most fastest chipset at the market in Geekbench 6 and into 2 version 10 benchmarks. So the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 once again smashed all of its previous benchmark records. Well friends, it's the second chipset to cross that 3 million plus points in the Android 2 version 10 benchmarks. Achieving a total score of 3,030,235 points in the Oppo Find X8 Pro smartphone, which is just mind-blowing. And I mentioned that this is the second most fastest chipset at the market because the top spot has been taken by the Xiaomi 15 Pro with the Snapdragon 8 Lite. However, this chipset performs differently in various smartphones, so there is no clear winner yet. I mean, if you look at the OnePlus 13 with the Snapdragon 8 Lite, then sure, this chipset comes out on top. But if you compare it to the Xiaomi 15 Pro, then the Xiaomi 15 Pro is the clear winner. So there is little to no gap in performance when it comes to the N22 version 10 benchmarks. And I will explain that in details in my full comparison review of the Snapdragon 8 Lite versus the MediaTek Dimensity 9400. So stay tuned for that. Now I will just show some different smartphones with their respective N22 version 10 benchmarks results. So as I mentioned, the Oppo Find X8 Pro leads with the impressive N22 version 10 scores of 3,030,235 points followed by the Vivo X200 Pro Mini at 3,007,853 points. The Oppo Find X8 Pro is close behind at 3,007,823 points, while the Vivo X200 Pro scores 2,997,173 points. And finally, the Vivo X200 achieved 2,818,538 points. So as you can see, this chipset performs differently across various smartphones. And this difference is even more evident in the Geekbench 6 benchmarks. The Oppo Find X8 Pro once again tops the list with the Geekbench 6 single core score of 2,949 points and the multi core score of 9,297 points. In the second place is the Oppo Find X8, which achieves a single core score of 2,892 points and the multi core score of 8,858 points. Next in the line is the Vivo X200 Pro with a single core score of 2,758 points and a multi-core score of 8,666 points. The new X200 Pro Mini scores 4th place, scoring 2,696 in single core and 8,536 in multi-core scores. Finally, we have the Vivo X200 with a single core score of 2,693 points and a multi-core score of 8,706 points. Now keep in mind that these scores may vary depending on the smartphone's variant. Now if I compare it to the Apple A18 Pro, as you can see, the single core scores are faster on the Apple A18 Pro, but the multi-core scores are almost identical, which is a significant improvement. So friends, I am also working on the full detailed comparison review of the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 versus the Apple A18 Pro. Now the reason behind this chipset top scores is its amazing CPU and GPU architecture. So, this MediaTek Dimensity 9400 features an octa-core CPU configuration, and I would say it's an engineering marvel. The CPU design of this chipset is upgraded from its predecessor, with a more powerful core configuration. I mean, the prime core is now based on the biggest core in the industry, the Cortex X925, which is clocked at 3.63 GHz. The chipset also has three ultra-high performance scores based on Cortex X4, clock at 3.3 GHz and for performance scores based on Cortex S120, clock at 2.4 GHz. And you know, I can't say that these are efficiency cores because efficiency cores are based on Cortex A520, not A720. So keep in mind that. So last year, 
MediaTek featured all big cores in the MediaTek Dimensity 9300 Plus, and that chipset performed admirably well. So this time, they have taken it to a step further by providing the biggest cores in the industry. Plus, it utilizes the latest ARM version 9.2 slash A instruction set and is built on second generation cutting edge 3 nanometer process node by TSMC. And I am still surprised by the fact that this chipset has all the big cores and only eats about 12 watts of power, which is just insane. And you know what's more insane? Well, this MediaTek Dimensity 9400 has the world's most fastest GPU as it features 12 core Mali G925 Immortalis MP12 GPU from Warhol 5th Gen architecture. This GPU operates at a frequency of 1612 MHz and includes 12 execution units, 128 shading units, and a total of 1536 shaders. And with this powerful specs, the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 achieves 4952.1 gigaflops in GPU test, making it one of the most competitive chipset GPU out there. And you know, this really takes the gaming experience to the next level. So gamers, I know you will love this GPU because it has some amazing features like the MediaTek Hyper Engine, MediaTek Adaptive Gaming Technology 3.0 and Frame Rate Converter. The advanced ray tracing capabilities bring console grade effects that offers realistic visuals with opacity micro maps OMM to improve depth perception. So it's not only supports traditional graphics with up to 41% faster peak performance and 44% more power efficiency, but also delivers up to 40% faster ray tracing performance. So I would love to play the Call of Duty Warzone on the Oppo Find X8 Pro with this world's fastest GPU. Now, if you are enjoying this video, then a sub to the channel will be astonishing. Now, in terms of RAM and storage, the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 supports quad-channel LPDDR5X RAM with a memory frequency of 5333 MHz. Currently, the fastest smartphone memory standard. This allows the CPU, GPU, and NPU to process data without any delay, enhancing the overall performance. Now, this chipset supports a maximum RAM size of 24 GPU, and it utilizes the UFS 4.0 storage technology for faster read and write speeds. And you know the faster RAM and the faster storage really helps this chipset in AI capabilities. So the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 introduces the MediaTek APU 890 Generative AI Engine, setting a new benchmarks for on-device AI performance with readiness for agentic AI. And you know, this AI just blows my mind. I mean, look at this. This engine delivers a comprehensive tool chain empowering developers to efficiently build and deploy multi-model generative AI apps directly on the device, covering texts, images, and music generation. It also includes pioneering features like on-device LoRa training and high-quality on-device video generation, which is just on another level. Plus, this chipset also supports a variety of high-performance AI models, such as Diffusion Transformer for AI GC models and Mixture of Experts for LLM models, with multi-modality support for a broader range of AI applications. In terms of AI performance, it boosts up to 100% faster diffusion generation, 80% faster LLM prompt response, and 30% more power efficiency compared to the previous model. And you know, this AI is taking off some amazing features in the camera department. Well. The MediaTek Dimensity 9400 features the Image IQ 1090 ISP, pushing the camera capabilities to the new heights. With 18 bit raw processing and AI powered videography, this ISP supports zero latency video previews in HDR video capture across the entire zoom range. Plus, a standard feature of this chipset is generative AI super resolution, which sharpens blocky images by filling in corrective details to produce impressively sharp results. The Gen AI Super Zoom even allows for 100x magnification photos with clear details. As we saw in the Vivo X200 series, we can record 8K videos at 60fps and 4K at 60fps in HDR and 4K at 120fps in HDR and it supports a single camera resolution of up to 320 megapixel. Plus, there are tons of algorithms and AI engines working simultaneously to improve image quality in photos and in videos. Now, this chipset is a beast when it comes to connectivity. The MediaTek Dimensity 9400 features a 3GBP release 17 5G modem that supports the latest global standards, delivering impressive speed, 
reach and durability. With 4cc slash CA, it achieves a download speed of up to 7 Gbps on sub 6 GHz bands. Plus, the MediaTek Ultra CA 4.0 technology boosts power efficiency by 18%, while R7 enhancement improves uplink and downlink speed and coverage. Additionally, AI UAC 3.0 enhances antenna performance by 3 dB, which makes a huge impact, resulting in 30% greater throughput. Now, in terms of Wi Fi, the Dimension 9400 provides Wi Fi 7 tri band concurrency, allowing connection across 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz, and 6 GHz bands simultaneously, achieving up to 7.3 Gbps with 5 stream configuration, which is just fast. fast which is just fast as the flash. It also enables direct Bluetooth connections between smartphones up to 1.5 kilometers apart, which is a big deal. I mean, 1.5 kilometers apart is a very large distance. Plus, the 4 nanometer Wi-Fi 7 Bluetooth chip operates with a 50% greater efficiency, while MediaTek Extradent 3.0 extends Wi-Fi coverage by up to 30 meters compared to its predecessor. So friends, that just brings me to my final word. So if you watched this video this far, then first of all, thank you. And secondly, you know how amazing this MediaTek Dimensity and a 400 chipset really is. I mean, this chipset got a huge upgrade from its predecessor. And it can actually go toe to toe with the Snapdragon 8 Lite. And that may bring so many questions in your mind. Like you may ask Hamza, should we go for the Snapdragon 8 Lite smartphones or the MediaTek Dimensity and the 400 smartphones? Well, friends, these two chipsets only share similarities in performance, not in features. So at the end, it just comes down to the personal preference. But I do have to mention one thing. If you order the performance slower, then I am sure that the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 performance will make you say, wow. And a smartphone with this chipset is 100% recommended for gamers and performance lovers, as well as for overall users. So that's it. That's all for this review. I hope you learned something new and useful from this video and if you do, then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss a review video like this one. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and leave your thoughts in the comment section. I would love to answer all of your questions regarding this chipset. So my name is Samza, this is Headstack and see you in the next video. If you want to watch the full review of the MediaTek Dimensity 9300, then that video is right here. And if you want to watch the full review of the MediaTek Dimensity 9300+, then that video is right here. Thank you for watching.